Here is our 48 volt system, and we've got this screen. Let's show you some of the new features that we have. We've got two batteries showing up here. So the two 5,000 watt batteries, or incomparable 400, 800 amps of 12 volt. We've got our power there jumping into system. We've got our battery showing here. We're under a tree, so there's no sun coming in, but we've got input from the vehicle, solar, and mains power. We're now using power out. So down here, what's changed? Well, we've got AC, DC across the board. So my DC is light, lit up, and you will know that um, these are now showing more options on one screen, so they have condensed this in the firmware. So I've got my different features here, like my outside lights, my work lights, and my underbench lights. And we have water pump through here as well. And so some of these guys we can use through the switch and the DC. Now AC side is when I want to turn my AC. I've got the aircon on and right now the aircon was using 800 watts. It's dropped down to work only using 500 watts as it's cooled off this area here. So that's running our air conditioner in the bush off the batteries. So those are the couple of things there through our range of power and what we can see when we turn on hot water, have the fridge running or different things like that. But here's the new one. I can now take this back to my main screen, input charging solar, output what we're using, AC on, that's gonna be my power points, that's gonna be my 240 power plugs, and DC is what we're gonna have on for all my 12 volt water pumps, 12 volt hot water, water TV and 12 volt things like this where I want to charge my phone. I've got my bench charger in there and that can happen through my DC switch being on. Please remember bush camping. We finished with our air con, finished with our microwave. Turn your AC off to save power. On my home screen here, I can now slide across to my second screen. So working here with EcoFlow and the 48 volt system, we've now got our water tanks here. So this is our water tanks. Now we've dropped the tanks here and filled them up a couple of times. So we'll go and put some water back in these guys here. And we've also got our fridge temperature. So the fridge, water, all of this is now on a second screen on our 48 volt system.